Hi boys and girls, welcome to chapter 8. We're going to learn something about multiplying fractions by whole numbers. Let's get started. Lesson 8.1 is called Multiples of Unit Fractions. So we're going to review in just a minute. So hold on and let's do, let's do a review of our vocabulary. Let's take a look at the vocabulary that we're going to be using in chapter 8. I just want to make sure that we have a reminder of the words that you're going to want to make sure that you know. So if there are any words on here that you feel uncomfortable with, you're not sure of, you want to review, I want you to stop right now, pause, make sure that you take a moment to look at these words. I've gone ahead and I've highlighted the words or I've actually underlined the words for you. So please take a moment. Okay, let's get started with the word problem. I'm going to go ahead and read it for us. At a pizza party, each pizza was cut into six equal slices. At the end of the party, there were five sixths of a pizza left. Roberta put each of the leftover slices in its own freezer bag. How many bags did she use? What part of the pizza did she put in each bag? Well, let's go back and see if we can figure it out. Well, first of all, how many slices of pizza were eaten? Well, let's see. I know that each pizza Each pizza was cut into six equal slices. And at the end of the party, five-sixths of the pizza was left. So let me underline that. Five-sixths was left. Well, let's see if I can't figure this out by using a drawing. So I'm going to try my best to draw a circle Whoa, of a pizza. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to try to keep these pizzas, pieces of pizza as even as I can. Well, I guess you're going to want to come to my house. Let me go ahead and erase this line. I don't think that's exactly what we want. Okay. Let me try this again. Okay, so I think my model looks a little bit better right now. So my model shows my pizza with one-sixth, 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 one-sixth pieces left, and there's one piece that's, that's, uh, that's been eaten. So the picture shows how many sixths. You're absolutely right. The picture shows five-sixths of the pizza is left. How many pieces are left? Well, you're right, five pieces are left. So if there are five, five pieces, and how big is each piece? Each piece is one-sixth. So let's answer our question. How many bags did she use? Well, I know that she, that she put each uh, that each piece of pizza had its own freezer bag. So I'm going to go right. Each piece of pizza, each leftover slice, is in its own freezer bag. If I have five pieces left, then I need to have five bags. Oh, let's make sure that's in the right spot. Five bags were used. And it says, what part of the pizza did she put in each bag? Each bag contained one-sixth of the pizza. That was pretty simple. I think our model showed everything. So there's two ways I can write this. So let's go ahead and do this. I can say that five-sixths I can write this as a number problem by saying 5 6 is the same as 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6. Or I can write 5 6 as a multiplication problem with a whole number times the unit fraction of 1 6. How many times did I add 5 to get 1 6? How many times did I add 1 6 together? You're right. 5 times 1 6. Let's try this again and use a different model. I know that 1 times 1 fourth equals 1 fourth. So let's go ahead and use a model 
and this time I'm going to show you the multiples of 1 fourth by using a model. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my model. Okay, but I'm going to make this, this is 1 times 1 fourth, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. So now I have 2, oh, that's really kind of a strange looking, let me erase this out. Make this really look like 1 fourth, okay? Each piece should be 1 fourth, but I have two of them. So I now have 2 times 1 fourth equals. Well, let's see how this works. If this is 1 fourth, let's go back there and fix this up. Now, each bar shows four 1 fourth pieces, but I'm going to say 2 times 1 fourth. So I'm going to take this 1 fourth and this 1 fourth. So 2 times 1 fourth equals how many fourths, boys and girls? You're right, 2 fourths. Let's see if we can do this again with another model. All right, this time, boys and girls, I've drawn a model. I have three bars, or three one holes, and each one of the holes is separated into, into well, four equal pieces. Let's pretend. So this time I'm going to talk about three times one-fourth equals. So let me cover away one-fourth out of two one-fourth. 1 fourth. So 3 times 1 fourth equals how many fourths, boys and girls? You're right, 3 fourths. Let's try this one more, just to, one more time, just to make sure we've got it. Let's draw another model. All right, this time, boys and girls, let's take a look at this model. I now have 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1 fourth. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to cover up 1 fourth in each one of these bars which represent one whole, and four times one-fourth equals what, boys and girls? You're absolutely right. Four times one-fourth equals four-fourths. So what have you noticed in the pattern? When I multiply a whole number times a unit fraction, you're right. The denominator does stay the same. What happens to the numerator? Oh. So I'm multiplying the whole number times the unit number, the unit fraction, numerator of 1, and 4 times 1 equals 4. And once again, what happens to that denominator? You're right. The denominator stays the same. What do you think would happen if I had 5 times 1 fourth? Oh, you guys are good. Yes, the denominator would be 4, and my num numerator would be the whole number 5 times 1 would be 5 fourths. Excellent. So what we're doing, boys and girls, is we're looking at multiples of unit fractions. So once again, I'm going to ask you to write the fraction as a product of a whole number times a unit fraction. So let's see if we can try this on our next, on our next slide. Here we, ha have, here we have it. I have 4 fifths. If I have four-fifths, four-fifths would be the product of what whole number times what unit fraction? Think about it. You're right. I create the unit fraction by looking at the denominator because the denominators always, you're right, stay the same. So my denominator for my unit fraction has to be five because I'm dealing with five. A unit fraction always has a numerator of one. Perfect. So 4 fifths equals what whole number times 1 fifth? You're right. 4 times 1 fifth equals 4 fifths. Let's try this again. What I'd like you to do is tell me what would the fraction 3 tenths look like in a number sentence when I multiply a whole number times a unit fraction? Let's try it again. What would my unit fraction be? What is the denominator? Oh, you're right. Denominators stay the same, tenth. A unit fraction always has a numerator of one. One-tenth is my unit fraction. How can I mul how, what, what whole number can I multiply times one-tenth to get the product of three-tenths? 
you're absolutely right. 3 times 1 tenth equals 3 tenths. Great. Now, I'm going to ask you to write the following fractions as a product of a whole number and if unit fraction, let's see how well you do. So here are your practice problems for tonight. The first one I'm going to ask you to do is 7 eighths. Remember, you're going to write 7 eighths as the product of a whole number times a unit fraction. I'd also like you to try to do this one. Number two. Please write, ooh, this one is going to be interesting, six-fifths as a product of a whole number times a unit fraction. And the last one I'm going to ask you to do is to list the, four, the next four multiples of this unit fraction. So you're going to list the next, well, let me, let me take that and put on the next thing. So the next two practice problems, I'm going to ask you to list the next four multiples of the following fractions. One tenth and one eighth. Okay, boys and girls, let's see what you can do. See you in the morning.